So what do you do when your favorite cycle race is canceled because of the pandemic? Well, you head out on your own on a stormy Sunday afternoon and do the full 110 kilometers. Right, so uh, anyone who lives in Cape Town knows that the first Sunday of March is normally the Sunday on which we ride the Cape Argus Cape Town Cycle Tour. It's a 110 kilometer ride around the coast of Cape Town, but this year because of COVID, it's not taking place. But that's not going to stop me from going out and doing uh, 110 kilometers this afternoon on my bike. Let's see how far I get. I'm going to aim for, for between 100 and 110. So I'm just packing a few things into my bag here because obviously it's now unsupported. I have to take my own uh, water and uh, snacks and everything I need for mechanicals. And let's see if we can make it. mountain that's normally the road that I ride to work on on that side So we are 
riding into Stellenbosch and uh, here we go <laughs> and uh, I can say it is quite stunning but my goodness the wind is a killer that storm wind is really hitting me we'll see here when we get to these flags with the Sara here on the left the wind is pumping so lovely ride but it's a bit taxing and uh, we've used we've done about just close to 30 k's now and you can see from the 90% use on the uh, screen there that uh, we haven't been using the motor which is good so we need it on the way home so as I said I stopped just outside of Stellenbosch to get something to eat and to drink it's been pretty hectic so far <laughs> the wind is howling and most of the ride so far has been into the wind I'm trying not to use my motor I've used it on eco for a few little hills but uh, on the whole still doing well we're about 30 k's in let's see how far we get today heading into Stellenbosch now isn't it beautiful the vineyards next to me here behind me on that side look at that it is stunning okay so uh, goodness the wind is still hectic uh, let's see if we can <laughs> cover this mic with at least one further layer of cloth but yeah the wind is a bit crazy um, I'm not sure whether I'll make it all the way back home <laughs> but I have done so far 60 kilometers and uh, as you can see from that sign I'm about uh, 25 kilometers outside of Stellenbosch and I'm guessing about 20 kilometers from Wellington and uh, yeah 60 kilometers from home and it is absolutely beautiful I'm going to try and stay this way so that the winds not too bad but you can see the scenery all around me is mountainous behind me it's lovely and uh, yeah it's been a good ride so far but my goodness the wind is killing me <laughs> so let's see how we go uh, I'm gonna turn pretty soon because I did a, a sort of uh, jagged route to get here and take a relatively straight route home I'll quickly check Google Maps now just to see how many direct kilometers it is to head home and then I'm gonna turn I want to try and make a hundred kilometers Okay, so I apologize for the wind noise if it's bad. So in this clip I was about uh, 80 kilometers in, just coming into Stellenbosch, but the wind noise was so bad, I apologize for that. Uh, I'd hoped with a lavalier mic I would have been able to still record, but it didn't work. So 80 kilometers in, the sun was setting fast and I was heading through Stellenbosch. On my way back home to Somerset West and by this stage um, I knew that I was going to make more than a hundred kilometers. So by this stage I'd given up using the microphone and uh, yeah this is one of the most beautiful parts of the ride it's on the Heldesicht road between Stellenbosch and Somerset West, a regular running route. Uh, when I run the Winelands Marathon, we cover this route and also a regular cycling route, just stunning. So this part of the route is part of my regular commute to work and back. And uh, here I was already feeling really confident that we would make 
uh, the 100, 110 kilometers close to home. Okay, you beauties. I've just crossed 100 kilometers as the last of the autumn sun is setting over Table Mountain. I don't think you can see that there. Let's see if we can uh, focus on Table Mountain. No, you can't really see it, but uh, yeah, just crossed 100 kilometers. <sighs> Thank goodness the wind has died down a little bit. And I'm about six or seven kilometers from home. I forgot to start my Strava after one of my stops. So uh, my Strava is about nine kilometers short. And I'm wondering whether I should try and do the extra nine to get that up to 100. But thankfully, my Apple Watch recorded it all. <laughs> So 100 kilometers down, it's done. From here on, it's just coasting home. Let's see if we can fit in that last nine kilometers. Whew. Thanks for joining me on the route. Let's get going before it gets too dark. So that's it, a great 110 kilometers. And uh, that's the way to ride the Cape Town cycle tour on your own during a pandemic. Thanks for watching.